you know, we're starting to see how AI is actually making work better in some pretty cool ways. Like just this week, OpenAI shared a study where they team up with a healthcare provider to see if their models can help doctors give even better care to patients. But honestly, it's just wild how much is going on in the AI world right now. So let's jump into the things that really matter. So OpenAI collaborated with a Kenyan healthcare provider called Penda Health on an AI-powered clinical assistant designed to help doctors make better diagnoses and provide even more effective treatments. But the thing is, this is not a lab or a benchmark. This is a real world thing with real doctors and patients during an ordinary day. So you don't have the luxury of controlling any virus. In the clinic, everything is pretty much random and chaotic. So the idea behind it was showing doctors possible problems with the diagnosis or treatment during their normal workflows. And this has shown significant improvements with a 16% relative reduction in diagnostic errors and a 13% reduction in treatment errors. And it might not sound like much, and this is actually good because it means doctors are doing a terrific job. However, it's great to know that even in those rare cases where the diagnosis or treatment may be wrong, AI has to cover. And in my opinion, the issue is not how good AI is, because AI is pretty damn good. It's about how AI can be integrated into real life scenarios and what we can realistically expect. So now let's move on and take a look at the first economic report from OpenAI, which I find fascinating because it is full of insights about the adoption of AI and its impact in productivity. One thing that is insane is that ChatGPT reached 100 million users in just two months and now over 500 million people use it worldwide. This is the fastest adoption of any consumer technology on record. In the US alone, one in four working adults now relies on ChatGPT at work, a leap from just 8% last year. And apparently the main drivers are learning new skills, write more clearly, and solve technical problems. In sectors like law, AI tools have helped lawyers complete complex research and writing tasks up to 140% faster. And consultants using GPT-4 finish projects more quickly and produce work of higher quality. Even teachers report saving nearly six hours per week, freeing time for students instead of paperwork. And for many, it compresses years of skill building into days. I guess the question is no longer whether to adapt, but how quickly can you keep pace? So don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date. Now, I want to share with you an incredible development in the understanding of our biology thanks to AI. And you know how crazy complex the human genome is, right? So. It is no surprise that until now, most AI models in biology have focused on DNA alone, missing the vital layer of epigenetics, which are chemical changes that regulate how genes are switched on and off. Now, Playu this is a new family of AI models developed with nearly 2 trillion DNA sequences, and it goes beyond DNA to read the patterns of methylation, which are tiny tags that reflect both environment and disease. And this approach allows the model to recognize not just what's in our genes, but how they are being used or misused in real time. And these are great news for clinicians. Play you this can identify where fragments of self-free DNA in blood come from helping to spot early signs of diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson. For researchers, PlayUDs can generate new biological data, can simulate genetic changes, and uncover hidden layers of regulation that DNA-only models miss. Meaning we no longer need to view our genetic code as a static entity. Now we can model it as a dynamic system that responds to life itself. And that is remarkable. I wish we had more time to talk about the insane speed of AI development, but your time is priceless and there are many things you should know. So buckle up because it's time for some flash news. 
Google Gemini 2.5 Pro with Deep Think Mode and an experimental model from OpenAI has solved five of six problems from the International Mathematical Olympia under exam conditions. Elon Musk's XAI plans to deploy the equivalent of 50 million H100 GPUs within five years. That hardware will require 35 gigabytes of power equals to the output of 35 nuclear plants. Over a billion dollars in banned NVIDIA AI chips have been smuggled into China in just three months. Smugglers are bypassing U.S. export controls by routing shipments through Malaysia and Thailand. The B200 chips are then sold openly for a 50% premium. Amazon is acquiring the startup B along with its development team. The company makes a wearable that records your conversations to generate to-do lists. Let's hope Alexa gets that soon. Microsoft's AI chief, Mustafa Suleiman, co-founder of DeepMind, has hired more than 20 engineers from Google DeepMind, including the head of engineering for Google's Gemini chatbot. Swedish AI startup Lovable has raised $200 million, reaching a $1.8 billion valuation just eight months after launch. It turns text prompts into websites and apps, and the company reached $75 million in annual recurring revenue in the first seven months. Meta has rejected the AU's voluntary AI safety code, citing legal uncertainties that go beyond the official AI Act. Thanks for watching and follow to stay up to date with the most relevant AI news. Bye.